Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man wala. Then we have reached the 26th reading from al Qiratul Rashida, which is entitled Yawmun Matirun. Yawmun, meaning a day, not the day or today, but a day. The Tanween shows us that it is indefinite. Yawmun Matirun. Yom, a day, matir, we're probably familiar with the word matar, meaning rain, right, matarun. Matirun is a derivative of that, meaning rainy or wet, right? So it can be a rainy day or a wet day. If we remember, in Arabic, unlike in English, the noun comes and then the adjective. The noun and then the adjective. In English we say, a rainy day. The adjective comes first. But in Arabic we say, yawmun matirun. Right? Yawmun matirun. So, here we are. Nazal al-mataru fil-layli. Nazala from noon, zay, lam. Nazala yanzilu, to come down, to descend. Right, al mataru with the dhamma here shows us that it is the file, it is the doer of the subject of that verb. The rain came down. Nazala fil madi past tense. The rain came down fil layl in the night or at night. These prepositions, these huruf al jar, we have to remember that they do not carry a specific translation, rather, they can take many different meanings depending on the context so you can say the rain came down in the night or you can say the rain came down at night that's up to you nazal al mataru fil layli al layl is majroor after harf jar fi right nazala fil madi right al matar fa'il marfu Nazala mabni ala fatta. It's built on that fatta. It's not going to change. Al matar, marfu fa'il, fi harf jar al layli, ismu majroor, right, with the kasra there. Nazala nazala al mataru fil layli. The rain came down at night. Wasalat al turuq wa shawari. Wasalat. Normally this salat would have a sukun on it, right? Because it's feminine. Turuq wa shawari are feminine, are treated as feminine singular because they are non-intellectual plurals, right? A non-intellectual plural, meaning anything other than the men or humans, jinn and angels, then they're going to be treated when they're plural as feminine singular for the most part. And that rule is sometimes broken, right? So, turuq, the plural of tariq, which we can see the root being ta, ra, qaf. And shawari, the plural of shari, meaning street, the paths, turuq, the paths or the ways was shawari in the streets. Shari'un is the singular here, as we can see from sheen, ra, ayn. Right, they are singular here, plural in our text. So we talk about them in the feminine singular, salat. Right, salat from we would look it up under we would look it up under sin ya lam, and we'll find it in the Hans Word dictionary. Right, it comes from sala yasilu. I'll write that over here. Sala Yasilu. Right? Yasilu. Right? Salat, feminine, as we said, because Turuk and Shawari. And we have this Kasra here because a Turuk has a Kasra on this first ta. We have a Shadda there. So we put a Kasra there for reading purposes has nothing to do with the grammar, right? 
Sala means to flow, to flow, to run. Wasala to turuk was shawara, meaning the streets flowed and the pathways flowed and they ran with this water, right? From the matar. Wanasha'a. Wanasha'a, we would look that up under noon, sheen, alif. Right? Nasha'a yan sha'u. Yan sha'u. Present tense would be yan sha'u. Meaning to form or to emerge or to rise. Right? Here we see wanasha'a wahlun. Wahlun comes from waw ha lam and it means mud. It means here mud. Kathirun. Again, our adjective appearing after our noun. Wahlun kathirun. A lot of mud. So the word nasha'a, we would say maybe emerge or form. Wa nasha'a wahlun kathirun. And a lot of mud formed or emerged, right? appeared you could maybe even say right nazal al mataru fi al layli wa salat al turuq wa al shawari wa nasha'a wahlun kathirun the rain came down at night and the paths and the streets or the roads and the streets flowed and a lot of mud appeared or formed right Zalika bihi nas. Zalika. Zalika meaning to slip from Zalika yazlaku. The past, the fi'l madi is Zalika. The present is yazlaku. Meaning to slip or to slide. To slip or to slide. Right? Zalika bihi and nas. They slipped with it, meaning with the mud. Wahlun kathirun and nas. Who was doing the slipping? And nasu. The dhamma here lets us know that it was the people doing the slipping, the fa'il. They are the doer here, the subject of that zalika. What tawassakhit athiyab. Again, this tawassakhit. Should have a sukun on it, but because we have reading purposes, we tawasakhat athiyab. Right? Tawasakhat tithiyab. For reading purposes, we say kasra. To connect the two words. Right? But if you were to stop and take a break there, what tawasakhat athiyab, then no problem. But if you want to read it fluently and smoothly, what tawasakhat tithiyab. Tawassakhat from waw, seen, kha. Right? This is form five of wasakha, meaning to get dirty. And tawassakha basically means the same thing. Tawassakha ya tawassakhu. Right? Athiyab, the plural of thob. The plural of thobun. Thob meaning close. In America or the West, a lot of times we use the word thobe to mean the garment that the man wears, the Muslim man wears, right? The long garment, right? That he might wear to Juma or to Eid or whatever the case. We say thobe. But in actuality, in every land, basically this has its own name. In Kuwait or Saudi, it's called a dishdasha. In Misr, I believe it's called a jalabiya or a jalabiya. In other places, it might be called different things, right? But in general, clothes are called thob or thiab, right? So, tawassakhat a thiab. Why? Because the people were zarika bihi. Zarika bi wahlin kathirin. They were slipping in a lot of mud. What tawassakhat a thiab? And the clothes got dirty. وَإِذَا سَارَتْ سَيَارَةٌ Here, we see our sukun on the tap because there is no alif lam creating the two sukuns together. وَسَارَتْ From, you would look this up under سِينْ يَا 
ra. You would look that up like that. Seen ya ra. But the verb is sara yasiru. Right? Sara yasiru. Meaning to move. Wa idha sarat sayaratun. And if a car, being the fa'il, because it's marfu there with dhammas, if a car moved, tatayara al ma'u. Tatayara, right? Look it up under. Ta-ya-ra. But the verb is tara yatiru. Tara yatiru. Meaning to fly. Here, tatayara is a form five verb. Or form six, I mean. Form six verb. Right? Meaning, basically still to fly, to go all around. Tatayara. What was doing the flying around and splashing around? al The fire. The doer. The subject here. The water would splash around. وَإِذَا سَارَتْ سَيَارَةٌ تَطَايَرَ الْمَاءُ Then, if a car came by, if a car moved and went by, then water would splash and fly all around. إِنْ قَطَعَ الْمَطَرُ فِي الصَّبَاحِ إِنْ قَطَعَ comes from قَافْ طَعَيْن Meaning to cut. إِنْ قَطَعَ meaning to stop or to pause. Right, in qata'a yan qati'u. In qata'a yan qati'u. Form 7. Form 7 of qaf ta'ain. Form 7. Meaning to stop. What stopped? Al mataru. That's why we have the dhamma there. The rain stopped. It paused. At intervals, right? Fis sabahi. In the morning. As sabah, the morning. Majroor after fee. Wa amina nasu. Amina is the past tense of ya'manu. Ya'manu. Ya'manu meaning to feel safe or to be safe. Wa amina who who is doing the feeling safe and being safe? An nasu. Fa'al marfu. The doer, the subject is an nas. We see it by the dhamma. Kharaju. Right? We see Amina being in the singular because it begins the sentence here. Right? But when we have another verb referring to these people, it comes in a plural, as we said. You may start and you should start a sentence if you have a group with the singular form of the verb. But when you bring another verb, it should go to the Sent uh, the tense or the plural of that verb, whether it be dual or plural or what. So, kharaju from kharaja yakhruju, they left out. Yamshuna, ala shawari, yamshuna from mesha yamshi. Right, we've had this word before. Mesha yamshi yamshuna, walking, ala shawari on the streets, walking on the streets, or you could say in the streets. Walking in the streets. Walking on the streets. وَقَدْ تَوَسَّخَتْ ثِيَابُهُمْ And here we see the sukun. Whereas up here, we had the kasra for reading purposes. Here, we don't have the alif lam creating the two sukuns next to one another. So we're able to put our kasra, I mean our sukun, on the tap. وَتَوَسَّخَتْ Thiyabuhum. And their clothes. Thiyabuhum. Their clothes. Tawasakhat. Became dirty. They became dirty. Bilwahl. 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 With the mud. With the mud. Right? Now here we see Wahl has a fatta on the hat. Whereas up above here, it has a sukun. Right? It can be said both ways. Wahlun and wahal are both the same. 
right? They're both used for mud. Not one, one is not a plural or, or a singular. Rather, both, inshallah ta'ala, can be used the same. Wahal and wahlun. It's not a mistake, nor is it a plural, right? Wahal is also just mud. So, tawassakhat thiyabuhum bil wahal. Then their clothes became dirty. Bil wahal. Wahal is majroor after the bih. The ba there, right? Wa zalaqa ba'd nas Here we have zalaqa. Zalaqa. Or before we had zalika. Here we have zalaqa. And there we had zalaqa. Both of them are correct. Zalika and Zalaka, both of them are correct. If I say Zalaka, Zalika with the Kasra, if I say Zalika, I'll write it here. Zalika, I say Yazlaku for the present tense. Yazlaku. Right? If I say Zalaka, Then I say, yes, luku. Yes, luku. Of course, make that a cough, not a fat. All right. Yes, luku. But in general, they both mean the same thing: to glide and to slide and to slip around. Right. Was zalaka ba'du nasi? Who was doing this zalaka ba'du? Some. Of the people, Badu Nasi, Mudaf Mudaf Ilay. Ala Shari, they were sli slipping, Ala Shari, in the streets or on the streets, right? Wasakata, 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 Sakata Yaskutu, we've had this word previously, Sakata Yaskutu, to fall, Fil Wahli, they slipped and they fell in the Mud. Wa dahika. Dahika from dadha ka. Dahika yadhaku. Dahika yadhaku. To laugh. Wa dahika. Who laughed? An nasu. The people laughed. Wa dahika arrajulu. And the man laughed. Meaning, here the man is referring back to ba'dun nas. Ba'dun nas here. Sometimes they use the word ba'd to mean one of. And we can see that here. Right? Ba'dun nas, meaning one of the people. It means some of, but it is used as one of in times, even in a hadith. Sometimes it is used as one of. Right? Wa ba'dun nas sa'al al nabi. And some of the people asked. No, it means and one of the people asked. Right? But they use ba'd to mean one of. Right? Wadahika arrajulu. Arrajul, he's the one laughing as well, meaning he's the one who sakata fil wahl. He's the one who fell in the mud. So he laughed too. Wadahika nasu, the people laughed. Wadahika arrajulu, and the man laughed. Wadahikat thiyabuhu jiddin. And this should just be two fatas, not a fatta on the dal and two fatas on the alif. This mistake happens a lot in this book. What tawasakhat and his to his clothes, thiyabuhu, his clothes became dirty, jiddin, very dirty. Jiddin, very. What can and nasu yamshuna? And the people were walking. Kana puts us in the past tense. Yamshuna and Nash Yamshuna, the people were walking. Can and Nasa, Yam Can and Nasu, Yamshuna, meaning the people they were walking. Mutmainna. Mutmaini Asaf. Mutmainina. Right? Mutmainina. Meaning in peace. This comes from the verb or the root Tama'a. Tama'a. And if you look in the hands where it's going to have a noon at the end for whatever reason that it's there, 
when we look it up. But you look it up under Ta, Mim, Alif, or Hamza there, and then you're going to find the Noon there with it, no problem. Mutma'inina means peacefully or calmly. So, وَكَانَ النَّاسُ yamshuna mutma'inina. They were walking peacefully. Mutma'ina, mutma'inina is mansub. It is mansub or accusative because it is the hal. It is the way that they were walking. How are they walking? Mutma'inina. Right? So it is mansub here. Not mutma'inuna, but mutma'inina. If it was marfu, then it would be an adjective, say, of anas. We say mutma'inuna. But here it's showing how they were walking. It's describing how they were walking. The hal mutma'inina. They're walking peacefully and calmly. Ida ja'a al matar. Id when. Id ja'a. When ja'a yaji'u al matar. When what came? Al matar. When the matar came. The rain came. Ala ghaflatin. Ghafla is from ghain fa lam. But this is a phrase here. Ala ghaflatin meaning suddenly. Surprisingly. Out of nowhere. Ala ghafla. Like you weren't thinking about it. Bam! There it came. Ghafla, we know, is to be forgetful. Ala ghafla, meaning upon forgetfulness, meaning, but here it, it's translated to, right, suddenly. Just all of a sudden, right? Id al mataru ala ghaflatin. When mother, when the rain came, all of a sudden. Fabtallat thiyab. Fabtallat thiyab. This Fa is so, or therefore, right? This, the root of this word is ba lam, right? But this is form eight of that ba lam, form eight, right? Form eight of that, meaning to get wet, right? To get wet or to get moist, depending on the concept. Con context here to get wet. Fabtalatil thiyab. So the clothes, a thiyab, they got wet. What got wet? What is the thing doing the getting wet and becoming wet? A thiyab. Wa kana ba'd al uqala'i. Ba'du al uqala. Uqala is the plural of aqil. Right? To be. Intellectual. Some of the intellectual people, some of the smart people, qad akhadu. They had taken. Qad here is just emphasis. Akhadu from akhada yakhudu to take. Qad akhadu ma'ahum. They had taken with them. Al matriyat. Al matriyat. Al matriyat is the plural of matriya. Matriya, as we can tell from that ma, mim, ta, ra, has something to do with rain. Here it means this device, right? Umbrella. Matriyat, the plural. وَقَدْ أَخَذُوا مَعَهُمْ الْمَطْرِيَاتِ وَكَانَ بَعْدُ الْأُقَلَاءِ And some of the intellectual people, قَدْ أَخَذُوا مَعَهُمْ الْمَطْرِيَاتِ They had taken with them some umbrellas. Fanasharuha. Nashara yanshuru. Nashara from noon, sheen, ra. Nashara yanshuru meaning to spread, to pass out. Right? To distribute. Fanasharuha. Right? Fanasharuha. So, ha referring to al matriyat. We said when we're talking about something, ghayr al aqa, we talk about it in the feminine singular. So he didn't say fanasharuhunna, he said fanasharuha. Right? Fanasharuha. So they passed them out, they distributed them. Wa kuntu taraktu matriyati fil bayt. Kuntu puts us in the past tense, as we said. Kana yakunu, that verb puts us in the past tense. 
Then after that here we have another past tense verb, taraktu. You could say, this, could, this sentence could come out a number of different ways. So taraktu from taraka yatruku, meaning to leave or to abandon. Matriyati, my umbrella, fil bait, in the house. Bait is measure after fee, right? So we say, Wakuntu taraktu. This could come. We could just get rid of kuntu. We could say, What taraktu matriyati fil bait. And I left my umbrella in the house. You could say that. Or you could say, Kuntu. Kuntu. Atruku. At ruku matriyati fil bait, and basically I left my basically kuntu would put us in the past tense, and I had I I left my I I was leaving or I had left my umbrella in the house, but here the word kuntu here along with the past tense of taraktu, it gives us the idea of I had left. So taraktu matriyati I left. Wa kuntu taraktu I had left matriyati fil bait. It just shows us the continuation of that, or, or basically the completion, not the continuation, the completion of that action. I had already left it. I wasn't in the house anymore, and I had left it in the house, right? Kuntu taraktu matriyati fil bait, and I had left my key in the house. Not that I left it and I could just go back and get it right now, but I had left it. I was already gone and it was a while ago. So that's the what we benefit from the two past tense verbs right there, right? Kuntu taraktu matriyati fil bait. And I had left my umbrella in the house. Another word for matriya is madalla. I figure some people might know this word, so I wanted to introduce it, right? Madallatun. Or madallat if it's plural, right? Madalla from the word dhil, right? Meaning shade. Madalla would be another word for umbrella, right? So he says, Wa dhanantu anna al matara. Dhanantu from dhanna yadunnu. Dhanna yadunnu to think. Here, the nantu, and I thought, and al matara, that the rain, matara has a fata here after anna, it makes it mensub, that the rain, qadin qata'a, qadin qata'a, qadin qata'a, it had, it had, Cut off or stopped. Fata'asaftu. Fata'asaftu. From Aleph, Sin, Fa. Here, this is a form five verb of Aleph, Sin, Fa, meaning to be sorry, like you say, Asif. Fata'asaftu. So I was sorry, Jiddin. And again, this should just be two fatas there. Fata'tain. Not a fata on the dial and two fatas on the Aleph. فَتَأَسَّفْتُ جِدًّا So I was very sorry. وَجَرَّيْتُ From Jara Yajri Jara Yajri To run. Right? Jara Yajri To run. وَجَرَّيْتُ وَرَجَعْتُ From Raja'a Yarji'u To return. Raja'a Yarji'u And I returned. Right, إلى البيت to the house. وقارب تل وقارب تلت ثيابي وقارب تلت ثيابي again to get wet. What got wet? Thiabi my clothes. So here we see in this text he's emphasizing a lot the attached pronoun. So we had thiabuhum. Right. We had thiabuhu, right? 
we now we have the Abbey mine. So we should learn that, right? We have Matriati, Matriatuhu, Matriatuhum, Matriatuka, so on and so forth. So he says, Wakuntu Taraktu Mitrati Matriati Wakuntu Taraktu Matriati Filbait. And I had left my umbrella in the house with an unto and al Matara Qarin Qata'a. And I thought that the rain had stopped. فَتَأَسَفْتُ جِدًّا وَجَرَيْتُ وَرَجَعْتُ إِلَى الْبَيْتِ So I was very sorry and I ran and I returned to the house وَقَدْ ابْتَلَّتْ ثِيَابِي And my clothes had become wet. وَلَمْ تَتْلُوْ This has a sukun on it normally but here we see a kasra here for reading purposes even though it's kind of hidden behind that sukun. Right on al bait underneath it. But if you look close enough, you can see this cusser there for reading purposes. Because of lam making the verb medzum or joseph. Walam tatlu shams. Tatlu meaning tala'a to rise. Tala'a yatla'u or tala'a yatlu'u. Tala'a yatlu'u. Yat lu'u to rise to raise a shems. What didn't raise? What didn't rise? The sun. Tool and nahar. When didn't it rise? Tool, tool the length. Tool from tala yatilu like tawil ta. Tool and nahar the whole day the whole length of the day nahar mudaf mudafile. Walam yazal. From Zala Yazalu Zala Yazalu Right, but because of Lam when we say we put that sukun on that Lam there, then we have two sukuns because one's on his aleph, even though we don't write it, we get rid of our weak letter, it becomes Yazel. Walam Yazel meaning to cease, right? And it did not cease. Fisama in the sky. Raymun. Raim, Raim comes from Raim Yamim. Raim Yamim, just as we see there. And here it means haze. Haze. The plural is Guyum. Right? Guyum. Hazy or cloudy. Right? Walam Yazal Fisamai Raimun. Basically, the sky was still. Cloudy or hazy. Walam yakhruj. And we see the sukun here. Lam yakhruj after lam. Min al bait. Illa du hajatin. Walam yakhruj min al bait. And he didn't come out from the house. Who is he talking about all of a sudden? He didn't come out he, he, uh, from the house. Du hajatin. Du. This dhamma here lets us know, and this wow rather, it lets us know that it is the person doing the yakhruj, or not doing the yakhruj in this case because of the lamb. Right? Dhu haja, the one who has a need. Dhu here means possessor. Right? But we wouldn't necessarily translate that, translate it like that because we don't talk about the possessor of wealth. We say the one who has money. We don't say the possessor of money. You could say that formally though. Du hajatin. The one who has a need. A haja. That's the only one who went out. Walam yakhruj min al bait illa du haja. And he didn't come out of the house except the one who had a need. Wasaimtu al julusa fil bait. Saimtu. This comes from seen. Hamza mean. Right? Saima Yes Amu. Yes Amu. Meaning to get bored. To get tired of something. To loathe it. To really just dislike it a lot and be bored. Wasa imtu meaning and I became bored. Al Julusa with sitting. 
What bored him? What was the boredom? What was he bored about? Al Julusa, the sitting, fil bait, in the house. Fakharajtu fil asri. So I left out fil asr. And again, fi doesn't mean in, it means at. Basically at asr time. At the time of Salat al Asr. Fakharajtu fil asr. So I left out at asr time. Wa akhadtu al matriyata. And I took, akhadtu from akhadha ya'khudu. And I took al matriya. What did I take? Al matriya ta. Maf'ulun bihi mansub. The object of the verb accusative. Ma'i, with me. Wa dhahabtu. And I went from dhahaba yadhabu ila sadiqi. To my friend. Sadiqi, my friend. Mas'udin. My friend Mas'ud. Why is Mas'ud majroor? Because it is a battle for Sadiqi. Right? Sadiqi. I could just say, with the hab to ila Mas'udin. I went to Mas'ud. I don't have to say Sadiqi. I don't have to qualify it with the word Sadiqi here. But here, I did so. And so Mas'ud is basically a replacement for, excuse me, a replacement for Sadiqi. I went to Masood or I went to my friend Masood. Fawajadtuhu from Wajada Yajidu. So I found him. Yutaliu Kitaban. Yutaliu Kitaban. From Ta Lam Ain, just like we had up here for rising. Tala'a, Tala'a. Tala'a means, this is form three, meaning to read. To read. To read or uh, to look over kitab and look over what kitab and a book. Nafulum bi mensu. Tultu lahu. I said to him from Qali Yaqulu. I said to him, Ala takhruju ya akhi. Ala a. Here is a question. La is a negation. Right? Do not. Takhruju, basically, do you not leave out? Ya akhi, oh my brother. Natanazahu. This comes from Noon Zay Ha. Noon Zay Ha. This is form five. Tanazaha. Ya tanazahu. Right? This Noon here is for we. Nahnu. Natanazahu. Meaning that we will go out. This form 5 here, meaning to go out for a walk or a stroll. Or let's go have a good time. Meaning we're going to go out and walk and have a good time. Wanemshi qalilin. And walk a little bit from Mesha Yemshi. Mesha Yemshi, right? To walk. Wanemshi. And we will walk qalilin. Walk what? Qalilin. A little bit. Ama. Sa'imta al-julusa. Amma, here, we're going to pay attention that we don't say amma with a sukun, which is going to come, I mean with a shadda, which is going to come. Amma, as I just circled it with the sukun, with the shadda on the meme, means as for. Amma, here, this is a question. A, and then ma as a negation. Amma, sa'imta al-julusa. Did you, are you not bored of sitting? Aren't you tired of sitting? Qala Mas'udun. He said, Mas'ud. Mas'ud said. We know Mas'ud said it because it's marfu' file, doer of the verb. Mas'ud said, Ala tara ila sama. Do you not see from yara, ra'a yara? Ala tara ila sama'i. Do you not see the sky? We don't really translate ila. Do you not look at the sky? Do you not see the sky? We don't really use this ila unless we were to translate tara as look at or look. Well, if we translate it as see, then we're not going to translate ila. We're just going to say, do you not see the sky? Or do you not look at the sky? Wa ila al-ard and at the earth. Ala tara ila al-wahal. Do you not see? Do you not look at the mud? Right? Do you not see the mud? Hatha laysa yawm al-khuruji min al-bayt. Hatha, this, laysa, is not. Laysa is a negation, making the noun after it mensub. Hatha laysa yawm. This is not the day 
of khuruj, mudaf mudaf ilayh. It's not the day of going outside, min al bayt, from the house. Min normally has a sukun there, but because of the sukun on the lamb, we put our fatah there for reading purposes, right? Today is not the day. Hadha laysa yawm al khuruj min al bayt. Today is not a day for going out of the house. Fatafaddal wa ta'asha ma'i. Fa here being so or therefore. Tafaddal from fa dad lam. This is a form five verb. It means please or be kind. Would you be so kind? Fatafaddal. So come on. Be kind. Please. Wa ta'asha. Ta'asha. This is basically, tafaddal is a command here. That's why it's medzum. Be kind. Right? What ta'asha. Ta'asha is also a command. It comes from the word ta'asha as a, right, out of maksura on it. Ta'asha ya ta'asha. Meaning to eat dinner. But when he says ta'asha as a command, then we drop our weak letter. Ta'asha. And it becomes like we see it there. What ta'asha mai. And eat dinner with me. So be kind and eat dinner with me. As if a command. But it's a request. Right? But it's in the form of a command. What tafaddal wa ta'asha mai. Qultu. I said. Amma al-julusu. Fanam. Amma here. We have it with the shadda on the mean. Here we didn't. Here it means are you not or are not. And then whatever the verb after it would be. Amma here means as for. Amma al julusu. As for sitting. Fanam. Then yes. Wa amma al asha. But as for dinner. Asha is dinner. It's called Asha because it is around Isha time. Right? Another word that we might have like that would be like Ta'asha and all that would be Tagadda. Right? Tagadda. Meaning to eat lunch. Yet Tagadda. Right? Past tense and present tense. Ya tagadda. If I say tagadda, with, and I drop this, mean eat lunch, my, with me. Right? Eat lunch with me. Tagadda. Gada is lunch. Gada'un is lunch. Asha'u, al-asha, or al-gada'u. Could be lunch, right? Al Ghada'u. If I write it like that with the Alif Lam, because Al Asha here has Alif Lam. And Al Futur, Futur, this is breakfast. Al Futur, Al Ghada, and Al Asha. Al Asha. So you can memorize them. He told to, I said, Am al Julusu, Fanam. As for sitting, then yes. Wa Am al Asha, Fala. As for dinner, then no. Fa inni uridu an arji'a ila al bayt sari'an. Fa inni, for verily I, uridu. I want from arada yuridu. Look it up under ra wa dal. Arada yuridu. Form four. Right? Form four of that verb. Uridu. For any uridu and I want that arjia and causes my verb to be mensub and arjia to return from raja ayarjiu ilal bait to the house sari an. How does he want to return? What's the hal? What's the condition of his returning? Sari an from seen ra ain quickly. I want to return quickly. Falasna nadri metta tuntiru sama. Falasna nadri. Lasna is the 
This is Laysa. It is not. Let's not. We do not. We do not what? Nadri. We do not know. Right? From the root Dara Adri. Dara Yadri. Right? Nedri. Here we have, just say it like that, Nedri. You could say, I don't know, La Edri. La Nedri. La, ned, la Nedri. We don't know. Falasna Nedri. We don't know. Meta. Meta means when. Meta. Right? Make sure. I said it for a long time, and you might even hear it sometimes here just by mistake. For a long time, I used to say it. Meta with a Shadda. Meta. No, it's just meta, without the shadda. Make sure that we say it like that, right? I'm still trying to break myself from it. Falasna nedri meta tum tiru asama. Asama is a feminine word, but you have to learn it. It doesn't look feminine, but you have to learn that it is feminine. Therefore, that's why we have that ta there. Falasna nedri meta tum tiru asama. When the sky is going to rain. Sky doing the raining here. Marfu is the file, the doer, the subject of the verb. Wajalastu ma sadiqi. And I sat from jalasa yajlisu. I sat ma sadiqi. I sat with my friend Mas'udin. I sat with ma Mas'udin. That's why it's majroor. Qalilin. How did I sit with him? A little bit. Thumma. Sa'imtul Julusa. Then I got bored with sitting. Wal Gain. And with the clouds, with the haze in the sky. Fasta Adhantu. Fasta Asaf. Fasta Dhantu. Fasta Dhantu. This comes from Aleph Dun Dal Noon. Aleph Dal Noon. He knows I might make mistakes like that all the time, mispronouncing the Arabic alphabets. Trying to say English, Arabic, back and forth like that. It, at least for me being, I guess, a weak student, then this is what happens. I make a mistake and I say dun instead of dal or something, right? Aleph, dal, nun. This is form 10. Ista'dhana yasta'dhinu. Fasta'dhantu. Who? So then I sought his permission. Idhin is permission, like we say, bi idhni la, with the permission of Allah. Fasta then to the scene in the ta here meaning to seek. So I sought his permission. Wa kharaj to, meaning to leave. That's the, from the manners. You don't just get up and leave someone. All right, I'm leaving. No, you say, can you excuse me? Right? You were kind enough to host me. I'm not going to leave whenever I want. Maybe you have food being prepared in the other room. Maybe you ordered something that's on its way and you wouldn't have done it. You wouldn't have went out of your way to have that done. You wouldn't have ordered anything and bought anything. You didn't, you know, you stopped doing what you were doing to sit there with me. It, the least I could do is seek your permission to leave, right? Because, you know, I took up your time. So now for me to just leave, I need to seek your permission. That's Islamic that we do so. Then to who? So I sought permission from him, to, and I left out to the street, at sayaratun, and a and a car came. How do we know it's a car came? Because it's the file, mafulun bi, it's the file, not mafulun bi, file, marfu. Again, slip of the tongue. Let me drink some water. وَجَاءَتْ سِيَارَةٌ فَمَرَّتْ بِي مَرَّ يَمُرُّ مَرَّ يَمُرُّ From Meme Ra Meaning to pass by فَمَرَّتْ بِي So the car passed by me جَاءَتْ سِيَارَةٌ فَمَرَّتْ بِي So a car came and passed by me وَالتَّطَايَرَ الْمَاءُ وَالْوَحْلُ And the water and the mud Al-Wahl, the mud, flew, splashed. Wattawassakhat thiyabi, and my clothes got dirty. Wamashaytu, and I walked, qalilan, warajatu ilal bayt, and I returned 
to the house or returned home you could say as well وَمَا دَخَلْتُ الْبَيْتَ and then I did not enter from دَخَلَ يَدْخُلُ I did not enter مَا being a negation and I did not enter الْبَيْتَ enter what? الْبَيْتَ مَفْعُولٌ بِهِ مَنْسُوب وَمَا وَضَعْتُ الْمَطْرِيَّةَ وَضَعَ يَدَعُ meaning to place to put down وَمَا وَضَعْتُ الْمَطْرِيَّةَ and I did not Place down, set down, al matriya, mafulun bihi mansub, the umbrella, hatta jaa al matar, until the rain came. Here, hatta until the rain came, it means basically as soon as I did that, the rain came. Wa ma dakhaltu al bayta, wa ma wadaatu al matriyata, hatta jaa al matar. So basically, as soon as I got home and put my umbrella down. جاء المطر the the rain came فحمدت الله from حمد يحمد right to praise here we have a sukun I mean a shadda on this ta because it's difficult to say this dal حمد تو حمد تو it's difficult so we just pass over that in pronunciation say فحمد تو what did I praise? Allah, lafzul jalala, mansub, mafulun bihi. Ta'ala, the most high. And I praised Allah, and wasalta, from wasala yasilu, that I reached, I reached, wasala yasilu, I reached, ilal bayt. That I, I praised Allah ta'ala, that I reached the house. Right? Meaning before the rain began. وَتَعَشَّيْتُ Again, we have تَعَشَّى يَتَعَشَّى Meaning to eat dinner. وَتَعَشَّيْتُ And I ate dinner. وَصَلَّيْتُ And I prayed from صَلَّى يُصَلِّي وصل This wa here is not وَصَلَى is wa is and صَلَّيْتُ And I prayed الْعِشَى Not عَشَى عِشَى عَشَى is dinner. Isha is Salat time. Wasalaytu al Isha. What did I pray? Al Isha, mafulun bihi mansub. Wa nimtu. From nama yanamu. To sleep. The word nom. La ta'khuduhu sinatun wa la nom. Sleep nor slumber overtakes him. Wa nimtu. And I slept. Wa ma alimtu. Matta in qata'a al mataru. Wa ma alimtu. And I did not know. From alima ya'lamu. And I did not know. متى وين إن قطع المطر وين the rain stopped وكانت الأمطار في هذه السنة كثيرة وكانت and it was what was الأمطار the plural of مطر and the rains right كانت they were في هذه السنة in this year كثيرة they were a lot the rains were a lot. Al Amtar here is your Ismu Kana Marfu'a. Kathiratan is your Khabaru Kana Mansub. Right? For those following that in the grammar. Wa kanat al Amtaru fi hadihi sana kathiratan. And the rains in that year were a lot. Or they were abundant, you might say. Wa qad fadat an harun fadat. Fa'bat comes from Fa'yabad. You would look it up like this. It comes from Fa'da Yufidu. Right? Yufidu. Yufidu. Meaning to flood. To flood. Waqad Fa'dat and Harun. The rivers flooded, right? Wajaa a sail. Wajaa a sail. Sail is from Sala Yasilu, which we had before. Sala, like a sail, is a stream. Earlier we said to flow or to run. A sail meaning a a a. It's kind of like a a faidan, a flood, a sail. Wajaa 
al sail, a flood or a torrential stream or an unending amount of rain. What to hadamat from hadama ha da ma, right? To hadama yet to hadamu. This is form five of ha dal mean. They're not connected there. I just wrote it like that. Ha da mean, right? Meaning to destroy, right? To destroy. What to hadamat buyutun and houses were destroyed, right? Kathiratun, many houses were destroyed. So we'll run through it quickly, inshallah ta'ala, without any grammar explanation. We'll just read it and translate it sentence by sentence as our norm. And then if there's any questions, you can always post them in the comments below, bi'idhnillah ta'ala. Yawmun matirun, a wet or a rainy day. نزل المطر في الليل. The rain came down at night. وسالة الطرق والشوارع. And the streets, the roads and the streets, the paths and the streets, they flowed. ونشأ وحل كثير. And a lot of mud emerged. زرق به الناس. The people slipped in it. وتوسخ الثياب. And the clothes were dirty. وإذا صارت سيارة. And if a car came. تطاير الماء Water flew or splashed everywhere. In قطع المطر The rain stopped في الصباح In the morning وآمن الناس And the people were safe. خارجوا Or they felt safe. خارجوا يمشون على الشوارع They left out walking on the streets or in the streets. وقد توسخت ثيابهم بالوحل And their clothes became dirty with mud. Or the mud. وَزَلَقَ بَعْدُ النَّاسِ And some of the people slipped. Or one of the people slipped. عَلَى شَارِعِ On the street. وَسَقَطَ And he fell. فِي الْوَحْلِ In the mud. وَضَحِكَ النَّاسُ وَضَحِكَ الرَّجُلُ And the people laughed. And the man laughed. وَتَوَسَّخَتْ ثِيَابُهُ جِدًّا And his clothes became very dirty. وَكَانَ النَّاسُ يَمْشُونَ Mutma'inina, and the people were walking peacefully, calm, calmly. Idh ja al mataru, when the rain came, ala ghaflatin, all of the sudden, suddenly. Fabtalat thiyab, so the clothes became wet. Wa kana baadul uqalai, and some of the intelligent people, qad akhadu ma'hum al matriyat, they had taken with them umbrellas. فَنَشَرُوهَا And they distributed them. وَكُنْتُ تَرَقْتُ مَطْرِيَّةِ فِي الْبَيْتِ And I had left my umbrella in the house. وَذَنَنْتُ أَنَ الْمَطَرَ قَدْ انْقَطَعَ And I thought that the rain had stopped. Had indeed stopped. قَدْ could be translated as indeed here. Had indeed stopped. فَتَأَسَّفْتُ جِدًّا So I was very sorry. وَجَرَيْتُ وَرَجَعْتُ إِلَى الْبَيْتِ And I ran and I returned to the house وَقَدْ ابْتَلَّتْ ثِيَابِي And my clothes were wet. وَلَمْ تَطْلُوا الشَّمْسُ وَلَمْ تَطْلُعِ الشَّمْسُ طُولَ النَّهَارِ And the sun didn't rise the whole day. وَلَمْ يَزَلْ فِي السَّمَاءِ غَيْن And clouds did not cease to be in the sky or haze did not cease to be in the sky. وَلَمْ يَخْرُجْ مِنَ الْبَيْتِ إِلَّا ذُو حَاجَةٍ And he did not leave from the house except the one who had a need. وَسَأِمْتُ الْجُلُوسَ And I got tired of sitting. I got bored of sitting. فِي الْبَيْتِ In the house. فَخَرَجْتُ فِي الْعَصْرِ So I went out at Asr time. وَأَخَذْتُ الْمَطْرِيَةَ And I took the umbrella, my, with me, وَذَهَبْتُ إِلَى صَدِيكِ مَسْعُود And I went to my friend Mas'ud. فَوَجَدْتُهُ يُطَالِعُ كِتَابًا And I found him reading a book. قُلْتُ لَهُ I said to him, أَلَا تَخْرُجُ يَا أَخِي Do you, will you not go out, O my brother? نَتَنَزَّهُ وَنَمْشِ قَلِيلًا We go out and we walk and we stroll and have a good time a little bit. Ama saimta al Are you not tired of sitting? Are you not bored from sitting? 
قال مسعود مسعود said ألا ترى إلى السماء وإلى الأرض Do you not look at the sky and the earth? Do you not see the sky and the earth? ألا ترى إلى الوحل Do you not look at the mud? Do you not see the mud? هذا ليس يوم الخروج من البيت This is not a day of going out from the house فتفضل وتعشى معي So please be kind and eat with me Eat dinner with me قلت I said أما الجلوس فنعم As for sitting then yes وأما العشاء فلا As for eating then no فإني أريد أن أرجع إلى البيت سريعا For I want to go to return to my house quickly فلسنا ندري متى تمطر السماء For we do not know when the sky is going to rain وجلست مع صديقي مسعود قليلا And I sat with my friend Mas'ud a little bit ثم سئمت الجلوس والغين Then I got tired of the sitting and of the clouds فاستأذنته وخرجت إلى الشارع So I sought his permission and I left out to the street وجاءت سيارة فمرت بي And then a car came and it passed by me وتطاير الماء والوحل And water and mud splashed all over وَتَوَسَّخَتْ ثِيَابِي And my, thaw, my clothes became dirty. وَمَشَيْتُ قَلِيلًا وَرَجَعْتُ إِلَى الْبَيْتِ So I walked a little bit and I returned to the house. وَمَا دَخَلْتُ الْبَيْتَ وَمَا وَدَعْتُ الْمَطْرِيَّةَ And I did not enter the house nor put down the... And I did not put down my umbrella or the umbrella حَتَّى جَاءَ الْمَطْرِ Until the rain came. Meaning at that same time. فحمدت الله So I praised Allah Ta'ala أن وصلت إلى البيت That I had reached the house <coughs> وتعاشيت وصليت العشاء So I ate dinner and I prayed Isha ونمت And I slept وما علمت And I did not know متى انقطع المطر When the rain stopped وكانت الأمطار في هذه السنة كثيرة And the rains in this year were a lot وقد فاضت أنهار And the rivers نهر being a singular which I didn't say that earlier نهر being river and har rivers The rivers had flooded وجاء السير And basically floods or an insurmountable amount of rain had come وَتَهَدَّمَتْ بُيُوتٌ كَثِيرَةٌ And many houses were destroyed. Hopefully this was clear. Hopefully you benefit. Inshallah Ta'ala. We'll meet you soon with story number 27. Any questions, comments, concerns, criticisms, corrections, always welcome in the comments below. I am a small student of knowledge, so I am bound to make mistakes. Alhamdulillah, if you look at the comments on many of my videos, or not many, but some of my videos, you will find that people are catching things that I might say wrong, either out of being forgetful or out of uh, just a slip of the tongue. Subhanaka Allahumma bihamdika, ashadu wa la ilaha ila anta, astaghfiruk wa atubu ilaik, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.